Start. Yes, pathophysiology of nervous system. We know that nervous system is divided into central peripheral, central peripheral, central brain and spinal cord. Peripheral are nervous ganglion. Nervous system, the tissue of nervous system very smooth, very smooth. And so it could be very easy uh, to damage. That's why we have very protect, uh, uh, very high and more protect system for nervous system. For example, liars, uh, not layers, uh, barriers, barriers, bones, uh, hematoencephalic barrier. Well, then we have anti system. Anti system means pain, anti pain, anti not uh, uh, Epilepsy and the CZMS, anti CZMS, well, uh, anti system means. Uh, then we have also as protect system, we have uh, macrophages, macrophages, mi microglia. Uh, cells. These all systems are for protect our nervous system. Then, uh, main functions of nervous system is uh, first signal system and second signal system. First signal signal system is our internal of, uh, hemisphere. Second signal system how to connect and contact with other. With, uh, with other atmosphere, people, animals, and anything. This is second signal system. So movement, sensation, motor, and sensi uh, sensation, uh, uh, memory, uh, mem uh, speech. This is all our nervous system functions. Now, how this nervous system could be damaged? Causes of nervous system damage, causes. Exogenous, endogenous, exogenous, biological, viruses, uh, polymyelitis, uh, and microbes, syphilis, also, uh, meningitis, whatever, physical, hypoxia, atmospheric pressure, when it will be changed, uh, mechanical trauma, social, also, and most common cause of uh, nervous system damage, social. And uh, and endogenous, endogenous. A lot of our own toxins can can damage our nervous system. For example, NH3 ammonia, mm -hmm. very very neurotoxic. Uh, acid base disorder, acidosis can also damage. This is all causes of nervous system damage. Then the second question: How they can damage our nervous system? How? What they can damage? For Four mechanisms: neuron damage, the neuron damage, intraneuronal connection damage, uh, formation of hyperactive of neuron of uh, pathological hyperaction of group of neurons, this third one, and fourth one, formation of pathological system. <laughs> Finally, these four mechanisms uh, of nervous system damage. First one is neuron damage. Neuron, we know that it consists of dendrite, axon, body, and synapses. So, neuron damage means damage of dendrite, damage of axon, body, and synapses. Synapses, for example, they, they have, we have six functions of synapses. Formation of mediator, transport of mediator, uh, vesicles, it means depot of uh, reserve of mediator. Then connection mediator with receptors, then action, then uh, uh, destroy, destroy mediator, six function of synapses. If one of these functions will be damaged, then synapse will be damaged. Dendrite damage, axon, uh, axon damage, axon is the long nervous, long, uh, they have two functions, a mediator transport and, uh, uh, and action potential. Uh, action potentials. Uh, it's, it could be carried by proteins, transport proteins. If these transport proteins will be disordered or decreased, so no transport. Uh, if the main nervous will be damaged by inflammation, for example, uh, also it will be damaged the axon. So innervation will cannot be reached to the organ, organ which it's innervated. <clears throat> then, then. This is for, uh, what is the formation of uh, group of hyperactive pathological neurons. 
some some neurons can, uh, can be can, could be hyperaction and connected to the gut to, together uh, and they form a group of neurons and these neurons cannot be inhibited by nervous system this we call uh, a group of hyperaction of neurons in the in the future it will lead to formation of pathological system pathological system which lead to dysregulation dysregulation of our internal atmosphere because our our nervous system normally it, uh, it try to regulate pathological system try to dysregulate and some scientists thought that a lot of our uh, diseases it's based on pathological system of nervous nervous pathological system for example gastric ulcer gastric ulcer could be due to nervous system hypertension even allergy and, uh, and autoimmune diseases it could be due to pathological system in nervous system can you imagine yes. behavior of nervous system damage how the which manifestations of nervous system damage syndrome uh, deafferentation deafferentation it means deafferentation it means that impulses can uh, cannot reach to the central nervous system deafferentation denervation denervation means the impulses cannot reach to the to the innervative organ muscle or tissue uh, trophic disorder trophic disorder because we we did, we we proved in experiment that this innervation it also can regulate trophic process in tissues trophic if we have this innervation means the innervation impulses cannot reach so in our uh, tissue it will lead to a disorder of trophic uh, function it means feeding mechanisms will be disordered <coughs> and this tissue will be atrophic atrophic we prove this in experiment also we we cut the sciatic nerve in a rabbit and then it developed in the skin atrophic ulcer because no innervation can you imagine this uh, 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 and one and and last uh, last manifestation of nervous system disorder is uh, uh, hyper 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 activity hyperactivity syndrome hyperactivity syndrome which based in some diseases as epilepsy for example and uh, convulsions this is in general the etiology and pathogenesis of nervous system pathophysiology pathophysiology nervous system understood mm -hmm. thank you for your attention